everybody, it's Mackenzie at Soundtracks, and this week we're going to talk about CVs and all of those bits and bytes you use to choose a CV value. So let's get started. All of the technical terms, the bits and bytes, and other symbols used in decoder manuals, as well as the differences between command stations, can make CV programming a little bit difficult to understand at first or a little bit daunting to learn. But don't worry, it's not as difficult as it may sound. Each CV contains a value that can be changed, and changing the value of a CV will modify a specific decoder setting. Each CV is made up of one byte, and one byte is made up of eight bits. However, knowing a little more about how CV values are represented will help you make the right adjustments. CV values are commonly represented in two numeric formats, binary or decimal. Like computers, binary is the numbering system used in all DCC decoders. Binary units are called bits, and each can be represented as either a zero or a one. Decimal representation is the format you will probably use the most often. Each CV contains a decimal value from 0 to 255. We have tried to use the decimal number system in this manual when describing the proper values to program a given CV. However, sometimes you will find values listed in the technical reference in both the binary and the decimal forms. Most CVs contain a single piece of data that can be represented in decimal or binary. For example, CV 128 is master volume. The value of this CV can be loaded with any value from 0 to 255, and it will only affect one thing, the overall volume of the decoder. Some CVs, on the other hand, will control more than one single effect. In these cases, you will use individual bits to control multiple features. A CV is comprised of eight bits, and this allows eight distinct features to be controlled by one CV. The bit variables can only take on one of two values, 0 or 1, so they are used to control features that are either on or off. It can help if you think of bits as light switches to turn on and off various features. Each bit carries a weight within the structure of a CV, beginning with a bit weight of 1 for bit 0 and doubling in value for each successive bit. So for example, bit 0 has a value of 1, and bit 1's value doubles to 2, bit 2's value doubles to 4, and so on. To determine the CV value that you will enter, you add up the bit weights for each bit that you have turned on. In our Tsunami 2 user's guides, we have a helpful CV programming tool to aid you in calculating your bit values. All of our product manuals can be found on our website. Go to Soundtracks.com and then under the Reference tab, click on Manuals. This will take you to a page that has all of our manuals for current products and discontinued products. Right now we're talking about Tsunami 2 decoders, so click on Tsunami 2 and go to the User's Guide. When you get to the user's guide, scroll down to page 12, and that's where you're going to find our CV programming tool. And this tool is very helpful because it takes all of the math out of figuring out what your CV value is. You type in a 1 or a 0 into each bit, and then it calculates the CV value for you. If you go back to our little tip of thinking of bits like light switches, a 1 is on and a 0 is off. So if you want a bit to be on, you add a 1. If you want it to be off, you add a 0. Now do note that while this tool is very helpful, it doesn't always play nice with every browser. Right now I'm using Google Chrome, and you can see that if I type a 1 into any of these bits, it adds that bit weight to the CV value. If I switch over to Safari, for example, it does not quite play so nice with the bit calculator, so if you're trying to use this on your computer and it's not working, try changing your browser. And you can always add this up manually as well if you need to. 
Let's assume that we would like to set up CV29, which is the configuration data one, so that 28 of 128 speed step mode and extended long addressing are enabled. We would use the following steps to calculate the value. First, to configure these CV features, we see that bit one, the F0 location, and bit five, the extended address mode enable, should both be on, which means we set them to a value of one, with all the other bits off or set to a value of zero. As you can see, the bits that we need to enable are highlighted. We can either write down the bits that need to be enabled and add them up manually, or we can use our bit calculator by turning bits one and five on by adding a one and turning the rest of the bits off by adding a zero. And as you can see, this is automatically calculated or manually, we would add 32 and two to get a value of 34. You only calculate bit weights that are on or set to one. All other bit weights are zero. To find the value of any CV, you can follow this method. This was a relatively simple example where you only have to add up two bit weights. More complicated CVs, you will have to add up more bits, obviously, so the math gets a little bit more difficult, but it's all addition, so you can pull out a calculator and do it fairly easily, or you can pull up our bit calculator here and type in your ones and zeros. Now, don't worry about breaking the decoder you cannot break the decoder by changing a CV. If you could, we wouldn't do our job very well. Yes, you can make your operation of your locomotive a little funky if you get some weird CV values in there, but not to worry, you can always reset the decoder back to its factory defaults and start over if you have to. And you can reset the decoder in stages. You don't have to reset every CV back to default if you are messed up. You can kind of go in sections and get them set up as you want. CV8 to a value of 8 is going to be a full reset, but if you don't want to reset every CV, CV8 to a value of 9 only resets CVs 1 to 128. CV8 to a value of 10 resets CVs 129 to 256. CV8 to a value of 11 resets CV 1.257 to 1.512. CV8 to a value of 12, resets only CVs 2.257 to 2.512. CV8 to a value of 13, only resets CVs 3.257 to 3.512. So you can work in sections, and if you mess up a section of CVs, you can reset those CVs and not mess with other CVs that you already have set how you would like them to. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope this helped take a little bit of the fear out of changing CVs on your decoder. If you have any questions, our support department is a phone call or an email away.